What's poppin' everybody? This your guy Dan Tanner from Tanner Does Tech. And this episode right here is strictly for the up-and-coming YouTuber or podcast specialist. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times we be trying to do things on a budget, cut corners, but we need those features that the premium podcasters or YouTubers got, you know what I'm saying, on deck. So my main problem was trying to find the right live streaming app because I want to engage my audience, laugh with them, chat with them and everything. And see what they have to say. See what they have to say to me live. So I didn't try Gusher, Emos, those types of apps like that. But I stumbled across an app that is definitely the best, hands down, the best damn live streaming app for YouTube. It's called Camera Fire Live. Well, enough of me yakking. Let's make it happen. All right, everybody, let's get my Samsung on deck. Samsung on this prime open. All right, cool. Now, when you go to the Google Play Store, this is the app you're going to be looking for. It's called Camera File Live. You know what I'm saying? Pretty dope. 500,000 people downloaded it. It got a rating of 3.7, which is good enough. It's not Dan Tana yet. I'm certified, but I finna run through it and see what it do and give it a good review. So, yeah, it's free. Download it on Android. Any Android phone it should work on, which is pretty damn dope. All right. Let's go to the app. Now, here's my media drawer. As you can see, I got Gusher right here. I didn't try it at all. And then this is a Samsung, so it comes with Samsung Live camera on there for, for streaming or whatever. I tried that too, but nothing beats this. Let me show you why. Open them on up. That's the first screen you're going to see when you log in or whatever. Then you can select at the top which camera you want to use, the back or the front. We're going to stick with the back. You know what I'm saying? Then up under that, you can choose from YouTube, Facebook, Ustream, and a couple of other options up under that, which is pretty damn cool. So let's get it started. Okay, cool. The camera's on deck or whatever. You got the title at the top. You even got the YouTube with your, with your logo on the interface. This thing is dope. Then to the right of the screen or whatever, you got your edit pen or whatever. So just in case you want to draw on the screen or whatever, you can pick a color and make it happen. Nice, right? Then you got the go button, self-explanatory. But here's my favorite part, the feature of the damn whole app, honestly, is the chat interface. It's like whatever they, whatever they type in your chat room on your YouTube page or whatever, or channel, you're going to see it directly right here on the screen. And as you can see, the letters are nice, big, and bold, so they're, they're easy to read. It's beautiful, I'm telling you guys. This app right here... Is a must-have for all up-and-coming YouTube YouTubers and podcasters, no doubt about it. Okay, then up under the chat and when um the chat and bubble, you got the settings. Let's go to there. Under settings, you got the stream of choice, which is YouTube, name of your channel, mine channel does tech. Then a title, you can tap on that, edit that to whatever you want. Then a broadcast privacy, you can either make it public, private, or unlisted. Pretty damn dope. Then you can also edit the category, which is also dope. Right now I'm doing tech, so this is science and technology. Then if you got a 360 camera, you can easily plug it on up to that and make everything happen. Pretty hot, right? Then up under that, you can change the screen. I mean, the camera resolution right now, I'm streaming at 720 HD. Then the quality can go from low to medium. And up under that, you know what I'm saying, I got autofocus on. So, hey, it's going to be pretty dope when I go ahead and do it in stream. Nice, nice, nice features. Not bad, not bad for free camera app or streaming app for um an android phone okay cool let's press go and see what it do, what it does okay it says the broadcast is starting which is pretty cool and another cool feature is like these little icons at the top you got the the camera icon so you can select the back and front camera let me show you here i am right here you know what i'm saying easy transition quality feature on the phone then it has a lock right there so it lets you know that the stable stabilization is on and everything the autofocus is locked then you got the your resolution which is hd 16 by 9 pretty dope everything is pretty hot on this camera i re i mean on this app it's pretty damn dope and then if you swipe to the right you can add another image into your stream text or whatever in case you want to go ahead and highlight something put a filter on it which is pretty dope or a plug-in another plug-in so this thing has some really, really nice options 
that I that I was really surprised that it had. I'm saying not bad at all, not bad at all. So I'm telling you, if you up and coming in the YouTube game and you need something that's efficient and productive and budget conscious, man, Camera Fire Live is the way to go. It gets the Dan Tanner stamp of approval. Put a stamp on it. <laughs> well, all right, everybody. That just about does it for this one. So if you like what you saw and like what you heard, please give your boy a thumbs up because I appreciate that. You know what I'm saying? And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet to feel the whole swag and magic of Dan Tanner, please do that too because I appreciate that too. All right, everybody. Get your streaming on deck. Be easy.